In many ways, Thomas is a typical two-year-old. That's a sad face. But while other children reach their milestones, Thomas may never walk or talk. He's registered blind, is fed by a tube and needs round-the-clock care. There are lots of really exciting, good things about having a child like Thomas. It's also really tiring. Um, we often have long periods of disrupted sleep, long stays in hospital. Um, that can often lead to feelings of just being overwhelmed. A respite centre in Watford looks after Thomas for four hours a week. It's the only time Angela gets to do everyday things, like going to the supermarket. But in October, the centre's set to close. It's devastating. It's very difficult to know how how we will cope and get the break that we need. The local clinical commissioning group says that with NHS budgets under huge pressure, it can no longer afford to help pay for the centre. That leaves the county council to put up the money, which it says it can't do. The government says it's giving councils an extra £220 million to improve care for children with disabilities. But despite this, charities warn that across the country, vital services are at risk of closure. We know there have been cuts to the kinds of services that um, uh, support families. We're really concerned um, that because the, there isn't um, very strong public awareness of the, of the impact that cuts to services are having for this group, that those cuts are going unnoticed and that that trend is just likely to continue. Angela worries what this means for her vulnerable son. His skills in the world are so limited um, that it's a, it's a huge fear for me what will happen next. She fears it will always be an uphill struggle to get Thomas the best possible care. Olivia Kinsley, Five News.